Hello, Virgo. Welcome to your weekly reading for August 14th through the 20th. I hope you're doing well. This is a love reading. We are going to take an Oracle card out of the Sea Soul Journey Oracles, and we're going to be using the Light Seers Tarot. So I am currently at an undisclosed location, taking a little bit of R&R, &R, so we don't see my typical setup. So thank you very much for your patience, and let's get rolling. All right. Let's take an oracle card for you first. We have held. May you feel the ocean's caress. Okay, this is not me. <laughs> not this ocean. <laughs> the ocean. <laughs> so that's for those of you who are at the beach, you know. And if you're not at the beach, they're saying... Um, may you feel a deep emotion. <laughs> Maybe I, this was a bad choice of oracle cards for you, Virgo. <laughs> All right, let's see. We have the death card. Death card crossed by the nine of wands. The temperance card. The hanged man. Page of Swords and the Moon. That's a lot of major arcana here, Virgo. One, two, three, four out of six cards right out of the gate. Now, we have four more cards to get plus three clarifiers on the outcome. So we'll see what we've got. All right. So we have the Five of Swords as your overall energy. So now we see why it says, may you feel the ocean's caress, right? It's like spirit is saying, and the ocean here being the moon, you know how she's like, she's literally, this is in your near future, how she's literally kind of like swallowed by the ocean um, and kind of like really in deep, deep, deep emotion there. So here we have, may you feel, may you feel a sense of deep emotion. May you feel happy moments. May you feel peace. May you feel contentment while you're dealing with, you know, intense negativity. So we have a lot of intense negativity. When we see the five of swords, that is usually victory at a price. Some sort of ending that's come to you that has caused two people to go in different directions. As a result of a lot of, in this particular deck, as a result of a lot of um, invasive thoughts, meddling people, you know, the negativity of your friends and family, something of that nature. Somebody that doesn't approve kind of thing. So you start out with the death card, which is in this particular deck, it's rebirth. Rebirth. It's like you're trying to have a new beginning. You're trying to overcome some sort of ending, some sort of difficulty. And there seems to be this focus on giving up on that particular difficulty. Um, our card that is crossing is in a negative light. So technically you'd be looking at it like this. So we have this focus on giving up, ending a situation and giving up on something, which is what's caused this, this walking away energy. So it looks like I'm reading for a Virgo who's given up on somebody, walked away from them. Or, you know, somebody may have walked away from you. There's just focus on the fact that there's been this ending. And it's an ending that perhaps you weren't quite expecting. And you just don't have any more energy to put in this love situation. We see that the foundation of this particular situation has been based on temperance. So it could be, Virgo, that you've tried to be patient with your person or your person has tried to be patient with you. And it's like that patience run out, right? The patience has run out. Sometimes, Virgo, you guys get yourselves gridlocked in the sense of fear and you don't move forward. And in that case, if somebody's been patient on you waiting to move forward, they may have given up. It could be, Virgo, that you're dealing with somebody that you've tried to be as loving and caring and have this beautiful healing relationship with them. But after a while, you just said, forget it. I'm not putting any more energy into this. Not if somebody's going to be posturing or, you know, having to have the last word or having to express themselves in a negative light. You know, forget, forget that bullshit, you know, <laughs> like life is too short. You got to be kind and loving and experience the world in a, in a beautiful way. 
So in the recent past, we see that, Virgo, you've had some sort of new light shed on the situation. You could have been dealing with the Pisces in the recent past, as well as in the near future. So we have Pisces, Pisces. Um, but I do see with the hangman energy here, there's a sense of, of saying, you know, now I see why, why this situation has taken so long. Or now I see why it's not moving forward. Or now you see why X, Y, or Z. We do have an energy here of some sort of communication bringing in uh, a sense of wisdom, a sense of understanding. So that's, that's positive. I mean, if you get some sort of sense of understanding of the situation, then you can make an informed decision rather than a decision based just on emotions or just on, you know, the, a minute amount of facts. So we have the moon here as your uh, near future. This could just very simply be you not being able to find a way out of your emotions, that your emotions are consuming you. It could also be that you just don't see what's up ahead in the future and it's causing a sense of fear and worry. Now, um, your guidance from spirit is the Knight of Swords to communicate your truth. And soon, because you're running out of time with this particular card, Virgo, it's like speak now or forever, hold your peace kind of energy. <laughs> And so we see this energy here of, you know, you needing to speak up, you needing to take action, you needing to communicate something to your person before they run off, you know, before it kind of gets away with you. The emperor. Okay, so you could be dealing with a person who's a very strong individual. You could be dealing with somebody who... Um, is very calculated in their thinking, in the way that they, you know, approach life. This particular person may be trying to get their life in order, or you could be trying to get your life in order. This particular person could be a divine masculine within a twin flame union also. Justice in your hopes and fears. There's this sense of, of wanting fairness, wanting something more significant, but also being afraid of what that may bring, afraid of some something that you may have to give up, afraid that you're not going to receive some sort of karmic blessing, that instead life is going to bite you in the, in the tushy, you know? <laughs> it's just a, a sense of fear of what may come, right? Your outcome, the wheel of fortune. Uh, once again, Pisces or Sag with this particular card. So um, I really could be dealing, I really could have taken cards on a Pisces, Pisces Virgo combo. So if you're a Pisces Virgo combo, comment down below. Um, Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune is, is some sort of shocking turn of events, right? Shocking turn of events, either for the better or for the worse. Let's take a little look on that. For the better, it looks like with the sun, ten of wands, all right, five of cups. Okay, so it actually looks like what we have is we have a turn, something that was going very well suddenly turns very negative. Now, here's the interesting part. Since we're looking at the five of swords, and the five of swords could be that fight that ends, ends everything. You have an opportunity to change that energy, Virgo, and instead embrace happiness instead of embrace stress and struggle. If you embrace happiness, then you can avoid this feeling of, of regrets and difficulties. If you embrace happiness, then spirit doesn't need to step in and knock you upside the head to help you see what you've lost. You know what I mean? So it's almost like there's this need to embrace happiness, to embrace your emotions, to embrace the possibilities of this yin and yang energy, to find balance within, um, if you're a twin flame, to find balance within your twin flame connection before spirit steps in and kind of smacks you silly, you know? <laughs> because it looks like the wheel is going to turn in a negative favor if you're in a negative mindset. If you're in a positive mindset, you know, I don't really see spirit stepping in and kind of correcting you. It looks like it's the negative mindset that spirit's setting in and saying, all right, you want things to be negative? Let's show you negative. And they kind of knock you silly to help you recognize what you've lost. 
So what we really see here is that, you know, these cards are saying, may you embrace happiness and peace and contentment. Leave this negative thinking behind. Leave this worries behind. Leave this need to be right behind. Leave this need for, you know, some sort of vengeance behind. Instead, embrace happiness. Live in the moment. Embracing happiness and living in the moment is going to bring you peace. And so that's what I have for you for this week, Virgo. Ooh, a tough hitting message. <laughs> I believe you can do it, though, Virgo. Embrace, embrace the positive. And let spirit work in your life in a positive way. All right, my dears. Love and light. Big hug from Ocean. Kisses. Mwah, and I shall see you again soon. Until Thursday. Until Thursday with your next reading. Ta-ta.